Hey, Shalom. First, I would like to give all praises to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Yahweh who the world ignorantly calls God, Yahweh Shah who the world ignorantly calls, ignorantly calls Jesus. I want to give a double honor to the apostles of Great Millstone has told me this truth. I want to give a peace and blessings to the eye camera across the four corners of the earth who teach this truth. And we're still like to do so. It's going to be a quick video. Low willing video is edifying. Low willing brothers, get something from this video. Uh, let me say this Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Kakadash. Um, you know, everything is through the spirit and the Lord willing brothers is edified. Uh, first scripture I'm going to get is Zephaniah 3 and 8. And um, the reason why I'm going I'm to grab this scripture because I want to make this video about waiting, proving that we have to wait until uh, Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai comes, comes to the fight. Okay, us being as men, Lord willing, we are as men, us being joint heirs, right? <clears throat> We're in it, but the fight is not ours. Okay, the fight is not ours. The fight is Yahweh, Yahweh Shai's, but we're in it. Okay, we don't have the power yet. We don't have the power yet. Okay, but in time to come, we will have the power. Okay, and once we have the power, then that's when we that's when we stand up and fight. Okay, this is Zephaniah three and eight. It says, well, and and what I mean by power is having that uh, power that the elect is going to have, because understand this body celestial and body terrestrial. That's what the scriptures talk about. Okay, we can't defeat this our enemies without that. Without first of all, without Yahweh Yahweh Shai, um, and we can't defeat it without the, the blessing and the power that he that we're going to receive in the time to come. Okay, this is Zephaniah three and eight. It says, "Therefore wait ye upon me," said the Lord Yahweh, "until the day that I rise up to the prey. For my determination is to gather the nations that I may assemble the kingdoms to pour upon them my indignation, even all my fierce anger. For all the earth shall be devoured." with the fire of my jealousy so we have to wait man we have to wait it says until the day that i arise until the day that yahweh arises not when we get mad not when we you know feel like we want to do something ain't no marching ain't no protest ain't no trying to make peace with this you know with with, our, with the heathen you know with with our enemies there's not you don't want to do that okay you can't do that because scripture says uh though hand join in hand the wicked should not be unpunished man okay though Hand joined in hand, the wicked should not be unpunished. You got to understand, man. Now, we get it, right? We're mad every day. The righteous is mad every day, okay? Righteous is mad every day, especially when you in the know, you know? Let me grab this. This is Jeremiah 16, 16. It says, Behold, I was sent for many fishers. So we're fishing now. We're fishing for who? We're fishing for the elect men. 12,000 from each tribe and the one-third men that's going to get it. Okay, one the one-third, you know, the ones that's going to be saved through the elect. Okay, but right now we're fishing mainly for the ones who's going to get it, which the elect is going to get it. Okay, <clears throat> it says, Behold, I will send for many fishers, said the Lord Yahweh, and they shall fish them. And after will I send for many hunters. Okay, so after that, he's going to send hunters. Okay, what does the hunter do? A hunter kills, okay. A hunter devour. A hunter kills, and you know, that's basically what's going to happen. You know, all our war is going to happen. We don't have our power here yet, so the war is not. Scriptures say, "Vengeance burneth in his heart." So we have to wait till he comes back, till Yahweh Shai comes back, for everything to be fulfilled, okay. And then that's when we're made hunters. It says, "And after will I send for many hunters, and they shall hunt them <clears throat> from every mountain and from every hill." And out of the holes of the rocks. So when they flee, when they hide, when they try to, in the time to come, when they're talking about the, the elites of the society, right? When they flee, the ones who got enough money to flee, try to hide, you know, it says we're going to gather them, okay? We're going to hunt them, okay? From every mountain, hill, you know, holes, rocks, caves, whatever they try to dwell in. This is 17. It says, for my eyes are upon all their ways. They are not hid from my face, neither is there... So thank you. It says, for my eyes are upon all their ways. For my eyes are upon all their ways. So like, they are not hid from my face, neither is there iniquity hid from my eyes. So the most I see what they're doing. Okay? The most I see what they're doing. They're not getting away with this. Okay? And with and the things that they've done. Okay? It says, eight, 18, it says, and first I will recompense their iniquity and their sin double because they have defiled my land and they have filled my inheritance with the carcass of the detestable and, abomin and abominable things, okay? And that's what has happened. That exactly is what has happened. 
You know, look at they turn everything upside down. Everything is turned upside down. Okay. Everything is out of course because the weak, uh, the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. Okay, and that's the wicked is ruling, man. You know, we just got to sit back and wait and wait until we're called to the fight. Okay, the fight is not now. We're fishing still, but the fishing is almost over. I spelled that wrong. So like, yeah. This is Zechariah 1 and 15. It says, it's like it. It says, um, and I am very sore displeased with the heathen that are at ease, for I was but a little displeased, and they helped forth the affliction. So scriptures say he was uh, 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 very sore displeased with the heathen, man. And why is he sore displeased with the heathen? <clears throat> Let's get it. This is uh, Psalms 83 and 5. And this is a small portion of why he's mad with the heathen. But this is the heathen's mindset. It says, <clears throat> they have taken, this is Psalms 83 and 3. It says, they have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation. And how they did, they did about that violently. Okay, and they do it now. They try to get rid of us, man. It says, that the name of Israel may be no more remembrance. For they have consulted together with one consent. They are confederate against thee. So <clears throat> this this devil and these devils hasn't showed their horns yet. They all in cahoots with each other. Okay, even Daniel, when you go to Daniel, when, when everything is, when Daniel's breaking down the statues and, you know, the horns and the toes and stuff like that, they're all in cahoots with each other. Okay, they all, you know, spending money with each other. They all in cahoots with each other, man. You know, even though some of them don't like each other, and ultimately, they're going to destroy each other. But right now, they're all in cahoots with each other. And their goal, one of their main goals is to what? Is to kill Israel and, and knock Israel off, you know? But 144,000 men are not going to be knocked off, okay? The one-third is not going to be knocked off. You can't knock off the one-third. But the, through your pride, okay, and through your arrogancy, you're going to try, okay? You're going to try. Okay, it says, uh, this is uh, Wisdom of Solomon 2 and 10. It says, let us oppress the poor righteous man. And this is the elites of, of the, uh, the nations talking, mainly Esau. It says, let us oppress the poor righteous man. Let us not spare the widow, no reverence the ancient gray hairs of, of the age. That's not what they do. Okay, it says, let our strength be the law of justice, for which is feeble is found to be nothing wrath, worth, so like you. Therefore, let us lie and wait for the righteous because he is not for our turn and he is clean contrary to our doings. He upbraideth us without offering the law and objecteth uh, to our infamy, the transgressings of our education. He pro professeth to have the knowledge of the Most High and he called himself the child of the Most High, Yahweh. Why Yahweh Shai? He, he was made to approve our thoughts. He is grievous unto us to behold for his life is not like other men's. His ways are another fashion. And Alex's ways are another fashion. The one-third ways are another fashion. Are of another fashion. And that, that puts fear in them, man. Okay? That puts fear in them. Okay? And you got to understand that. You got to understand that these, the, the top, you know, people of this society understand uh, these scriptures. Okay? Uh, let me see. Bear with me one second. What am I looking for? It's lucky. Well, give me one second, okay? This is what I'm looking for. Okay, yep. This is First Corinthians 15, outside of 49. It says, And as we have borne the image of the earth, we also bear the image of the heavenly. Because when I say power, when, when, when we are begin to make hunters, we're going to get power, spiritual power. Okay, the stuff that you see Marvel and all these superheroes do, that's based off of the scriptures. That's based off us. Okay, listen to what Paul said. This is First Corinthians 15 and 40, 49. I'll start. It says, um, 
I want them to see if I can start up. Yeah, that's a goal for another school. It says, and as we have borne the image of the earthly, we also shall bear the image of the heavenly. Now we are in the a, in a image of the earthly, which, guess what, is these bodies. Okay, but the image of the heavenly, guess what, is immortal. It says, now this I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of the Most High, neither doth corruption inherit incorruption. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall be ch we shall all be changed in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump. <laughs> at the end, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised in incorruptible, and we shall be changed. For this uh, corruptible must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immortality. Okay, immortality. Let me read his last scripture real quick. Just to back that. Immortality. When you're immortal, you can't die. You're in a God-like existence. Okay, when you're immortal, you can't die. You're in a God-like existence, man. Okay? This is a... <laughs> angels don't die. Yahweh Shai is not going to die when he comes back. Say, I will not meet thee as a man. He'll look like a man, but he's not going to be genetically made up like like the earthly, like the earthy, okay? He's going to have power, extreme power. And us being joint heirs, Lord, will not part of the elect of the one-third. We are going to have, uh, the elect is going to have power, okay? The elect, the 144,000, Lord, will not part of the elect, uh, we're going to have power. We say that humbly, man. You got to say, Lord willing, when you say the elect, man, because we're doing it to be part of that salvation, but we don't know. Okay, this is wisdom of Solomon 3 and 4. But we hope, this the scripture says, put on as the elect. This is 4, it says, for though they be punished in the sight of a man, yet is there hope full of immortality. That's what our hope is. Okay, I've been speaking about it throughout the video. And having been a little chastised, they shall be greatly rewarded for the Most High how approved them and found them worthy for himself. As go to in the furnace, hath he tried them and received them as a burnt offering. And in the time of their visitation, they shall shine and run to and fro like sparks among the stubble. They shall judge the nations and have dominion over the people, and their Lord shall reign forever. What? They shall run to and fro like sparks among the stubble? They shall shine? That's power. They, put their, they, they that put their trust in him shall understand the truth, and such as be faithful and love shall abide with him. For grace and mercy is to the saints, and he hath care for his elect. See? But the ungodly shall be punished according to their own imaginations, which have neglected the righteous and forsaken the Lord. And so with that, you know, low will the video is edifying. Low will the brothers got something from this video. I want to give all praises to you. How about Shimei Al-Shah, by Shimei for giving me the spirit to do this video. I want to tell you, brothers, uh, keep pushing. Stay up. Shalom.